So we're at the January 20th RB&O and I'm coming over here to see what uh, Rick is working on. What is this thing? It is a big hole where I put my money. <laughs> it looks like uh, some this kind is, of simulator. This is part of a flight simulator system that I'm working on. This is just going to be the center part of a full motion two axis flight simulator that's going to pitch and roll using data extracted from the Microsoft Flight Simulator software. Um, so far, it has flight controls, either joystick or yoke for traditional general aviation aircraft. It has panoramic screens, and all this framework is built out of steel tubing. Hopefully it'll be strong enough when it starts moving and rolling around to not pull apart. And when do you think it'll be completed? <laughs> Don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, when do I think it'll be completed? <laughs> That's a good question. We'll check back another time. Uh, hopefully another year. Hi, I'm Ron Grant, and today we've got a demonstration with the DPRG. We've got a demonstration at uh, today's RBNO, which is January 20th RBNO, 2010. Uh, if you come over here, Steve, we've got a demo of this uh, linear sensor array. And what it is, is it's an 8-pin uh, chip or an 8-pin dip package with a 64-element uh, linear sensor array. And as I move the array, you can see that bar graph. And what the bar graph is showing us as I move the, the uh, setup away here is it's it's looking at that line but just in one dimension the bar graph is showing us intensity levels so what what we're seeing really is over the linear range of the of the sensor we're seeing the intensity change so that little dip in intensity is actually the the, the cross-sectional profile of that bar graph and what we have is a setup that Will uh, created he has the array mounted with a lens so it has a, a regular camera lens and he has LEDs illuminating uh, the target uh, there and then what we also have is a mega donkey and that's the microcontroller and if I touch the screen we'll be able to, to see the setup uh, parameters which we have really two, two parameters are controlling how fast we're scanning the array. One is an, is an analog to digital prescaler and that's set at, at three which is like a, a two megahertz is our clock rate for our ADC which that translates to I think about 200,000 samples a second and then also we have a sample delay in between a, a reference sample that's taken of the of the array and then a sample that is actually a real sample and what happens is we integrate or we we allow the light to um, to strike the sensor for it looks like uh, 10 micro or 10 milliseconds so for a 10 millisecond period or a hundredth of a second we're allowing the light to accumulate or to be integrated on that sensor and then we read it out serially to the mega donkey via a program that's about 20 lines of code very cool. Great. So we're looking at uh, Will's stepper motor driver here. He turns the crank and the motor steps. Change it to be uh, daytime so that we can see what's going on. So anything special about this yeah, setup? Yeah, I mean, yeah. As far as yeah, like, true, does the simulator support multi-screen like this? You just have to have a couple of graphics um, cards. Or? Yeah, it's actually a, This is an i7 three gigahertz machine, and it's really pretty powerful. Um, 